All right, so here's just a quick note about um, texting, guys who text you to death, whether it comes from a dating app or it comes from um, you just meeting them and then they're just on the phone constantly texting. Uh, ladies, you just need to cut this out. Uh, guys that are watching, you definitely need to cut this out. You don't need to be doing all this texting. Back and forth texting, texting, texting. Now, if you're in a relationship and you're talking to them, you're talking through text, and that's fine. But you need to get into a relationship. And ladies, you need to understand that a lot of guys, what they do is in the very beginning, they might get overwhelmed or it might take them a while to build up a group of women, but they might have a group of women. You know, we'll just say 10 women um, just to give it a number. And in this 10 women that they're talking to, they're basically texting all of them at the same time. And it's, it's very easy for them if they have a steady, easy job uh, to text all these women, you know, and keep all of them excited and interested. Um, what happens over time is that because they're only one person and they can't literally make their rounds, um, they just kind of focus on one or two women and take those women out, go over to those women's houses, and then the other eight or so, they just continue to text. Um, ladies, don't allow guys to do this. If you are in a situation where a guy's been texting you for one or two weeks, especially going beyond two weeks, and you have not seen him in person, you've not talked to him really much on the phone, you have not gone out and started to make the moves to become um, part of his life or part, um, or, you know, into a relationship with him, um, you just need to let him go. You need to let him go. He is not ready for you or he is out there with somebody else or uh, something else is going on. But no matter what the situation is, you need to let him go. Because remember, um, ladies, you have, you know, you got to work this time thing out. And like I said, the number one complaint I hear from women over and over and over again is I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want these guys wasting my time. So don't let them waste your time. Stop letting them waste your time. Put limits on your time. So if you basically have, you meet a guy, you, you, you text him a little bit, you know, a couple of days, the weekend comes by, you know, uh, maybe you get a phone call, maybe you don't get a phone call. Uh, another week goes by, y'all are still texting here and there. Good, you know, good morning, beautiful. You know, how you doing? Oh, you know, I miss you. I would love to see you. I want to hug you, whatever it is. OK, you need to be looking for him to start saying, OK, can I talk to you on the phone? Can I talk to you back to back? Can I see you in person? You know, what can I do in order for us to actually form a physical connection in the real world? Um, now, it's different if he, you know, you know, he's a traveling salesman or something like that. But if he's not, OK, then he should be making some physical moves towards you. If he is not making those physical moves towards you, you need to let him go. Point blank, point simple. Don't 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 worry about it. Let him go and find you some more guys, you know, to talk to. OK, don't limit yourself, you know, with the guy that is not really ready to be in a relationship with you. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Talk to me down at the bottom. I want to hear what you want, what you want to hear about, what you want me to talk about.